So me again, it's your girl, so me and back again with another YouTube video. So today's video, I am gonna be installing these 36 inch crochets in my head on some funky, weird braids that I just did when I just put a wig on. So they are so long. I'm only five feet and these are 36 inches. They come down to like half my leg. So these are pretty long and I love them. And I added some honey blonde in them because I didn't want it just to be all basic black. So this is the hairstyle. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys stay tuned to the end of the video. Without further ado, love you guys all and I'll see you guys in my next video. So I am putting crochets in my hair these are 36 inches long i'm putting these are um to be i'm also putting one pack of honey blonde in here so i had a wig on my head but you know what i i go i've been wanting these in my hair for a very long time and i don't have time to like i don't feel like retaking these braids out so i'm not going to do that uh, I'm just gonna leave these in here and we are going to crochet them in my hair. Now, yes, the braids are kind of like slipped back, but I'm gonna grab a section piece and I'm gonna put them in there. So I am doing this YouTube video for you guys because I told you I like to do um, videos with doing hair. So I am going to put these 36 inches crochets in my head and um, you guys are kind of see, I got four packs. Four packs should be enough. You don't want them to be too heavy on your head because I'm only a five foot girl and yeah. So anyways, we're gonna get started and then you guys will kind of see where the length is coming down and where it's at. But without further ado, let's get started. So what I did was that I braided what I can, I put a rubber band and then I kind of pulled and tugged on the braiding parts that were loose and I put a rubber band on there. And then what I am doing to secure this is that I am taking the crochets and then I am putting them on in the back first so I can kind of secure that and lock it in method. Um, what I can do is I will try to turn around and show you guys what I'm doing, how I do it. It's just, you know, I want something done with my hair. And this is what I wanted for the longest time. So yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of me doing these in the back of my head. Forgive me on how my hair looks in the back. Like I said, I had a wig on. I was getting bored with the wig because it was itchy and I wanted to take it off. So I did these. So I'm just gonna get started. So what I am doing is, as you can see, I am taking the crochet knot, sticking it up under my braid, taking the braiding hair, putting it through the lock, closing the lock, as you can see, and then I am slowly pulling it right through halfway. And then once I is secure, take the loop out, make sure it's not tangled, and then I open up the hook loop and I take the crochet knot and I pull it through and tightly secure it as you can see and so it does not fall out and it's super tight as well. So on here, I'm just kind of showing you that I got the back row done. This is what the back row should look like. It's not perfect, like I stated. These are just on some fresh big braids that I wanted to achieve. And as you can see that I am halfway done with the hair and I was trying to go fully up. As you saw me itch my head, my head was itchy, but it's okay. These crochets are kind of itchy and it has that material that most braiding hair has, but I do like how the way it's looking. I am giving Predator right now, but as you can see, I am kind of halfway through and it was already feeling heavy as it was. So I think this is when I'm going to start to add the light brown in my hair. I think so. No, I'm going to continue on the black 
but you will see that I will start to mix them up as well. I've always, ooh, I've always wanted these individually on my head, but girls be charging like 200, almost $300 for 36 inches. And I'm just like, I don't got time for that. I mean, I could possibly do it myself, but it's not gonna, it's gonna be frustrating because I can't see the back of my head. So, no. So I took the to initiative. I'm so glad they came out with crochets because for the girlies that don't feel like sectioning and doing all of that, <laughs> we stick to the crochets. And they do have a new method to where you, like, you put like the front three in rubber bands and then you braid the rest of it back so it can look like they're individuals and not look like this, like a crocheted and stuff like that. But I didn't, I didn't feel like taking out these. Cause if I would've took these out and I would've done that, I probably would be at the bottom right now. And I'm trying to hurry up and get these done before he get home. So I can surprise him with my long braids, which I, he probably wouldn't. He'll probably be like, nice, it looks nice. Like, you know. Cause guys don't really care about the hair at all but when they get a haircut they want us to notice it like he noticed things but is it a really focus matter no it's the honey blonde i didn't want to be i didn't want to be boring and just get um one color even though it would have been fine I wanted to add some highlights like look this is kind of like the same color as my skin so as you can see that i am putting in the honey blonde and i'm not putting it in just one section i'm alternating it making it seem like they're highlights so you're seeing me go back from the chocolate brown to the honey blonde i'm just kind of alternating in my head i wanted to go for like more of the highlights i wish they had like the icy blonde that would have been pretty as well but you get what you get and you don't have a fit but overall this hairstyle came in so tactic i loved it a lot a lot of people said they loved my hair it's just the one thing about this is like it was flinging and flopping everywhere touching the ground touching the bed touching the floor when you go to public bathrooms like it was so disgusting was this hair worth it yes it was worth it but you know as far as for it touching everything it was disgusting but i do like this honey blonde it makes it you know made my face look cute without makeup <laughs> if you know what i'm saying not too much so as you see i am halfway done with my hair i'm jamming out to music because i got bored just sitting there talking to myself but as you can see if i would stop moving you can see that i added more of the honey blonde to the top kind of made it diverse you can see that the highlights are kind of really kicking in and it's starting to look really cute and everything like that which i was feeling so much and i was loving it because i was feeling myself also listening to thames as well but as i started getting closer to the top it started hurting a lot because like i stated those hairs were not braided and i didn't want to just leave the honey blonde just sitting in my face so i added dark pieces in the front to kind of complement my face so it wasn't so bright and you'll see me make faces because that's how much it was hurting and stuff like that. But overall, it was cute.
All right, so we are done. Eee, there's something pulling right here. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's pulling. This hairstyle is like, you can feel it pulling. Anyways, I got it. It looks crazy. It looks like I got a butt crap on my head. And we don't want that. And then like, hey, I forgot what crochets feel like, you know? It's already bad enough, like my hairline right there. Like when I flip it to this side, this side don't hurt. We just gotta find a place on where it it's gonna lay, you know? We can't have it looking bumpy. I really don't like how this is just right here. Like, look at that. Like I could decide to put it up, but that's just gonna make my head even more painful. But, cause I don't like this whole big gap right here. So I'm thinking I might just like, try to put those two together so it doesn't create that gap. So this is my hair. I still have to like style it and play with it and lay it in a way that I want it to be laid. And it's, it's pretty long. This is like what it looks like. And I'm debating on if I wanna put like, do I just wanna keep the highlights in the front? Or do I wanna put like one highlight in the back? All right. So I think this is, this hair, this right here is fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my baby hair on and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> so we're just gonna quickly do my edges and call it a night. And I have the Shine Jam Edging Match. I don't really like this stuff because it really don't work. Like how they say it is supposed to work. And we're just gonna smooth my edges. So that's the edge. And that's kind of it. And I'm probably not gonna keep it down for so long, but. So if you guys did like this tutorial and quick hairdo that I did, please let me know. I am down to trying new hairstyles and everything like that. So thank you so much for sticking in watch me put these crochets and i really appreciate it without further ado i will see you guys in my next youtube video